I'm about to interview some of the youngest, most excited and intelligent minds on the subject of the economy, child hunger, and what we can do about it. Morning. Hi. All right, I've got some questions for you. Raise your hand if you've ever heard the word economy. Who's heard of this word economy? It makes me think of yeah. green things, trees and money. If the economy's not doing well, a lot of people don't have enough money to get food. Who likes apples? Raise your hand if you like apples. I'm gonna hand out the apples. I have apples for everybody. Here you go. <laughs> Guys, Quinn does not have an apple. Do we feel bad that Quinn doesn't have an apple yes. and everybody else does? Yeah. yeah. Is the world better if some of us have apples or if all of us have apples? All. One of us can split it in half and give it to the other person. We can give all apples except for one back and then we can slice it into fifths or two tenths or ten. No. Okay, we get it. Have you guys ever been hungry before? <laughs> yes. yes. Like last night, because my dad didn't let me have a dessert. So does it feel good when you're hungry or does it feel bad? There is a sort of ticklish feeling almost in my stomach, but it is more of a pain. We've been talking about how some of you guys didn't have apples even when we shared them, but that's related to a bigger thing, right? One out of every five kids in the country doesn't have enough food all the time. They're hungry all the time. What would you do to make sure fewer kids were hungry? I would give away my food and not my candy. Put that one up on the board. Give away my toys so they can sell the toys for money. That's very creative. Just start your own nonprofit charity organization. I like it. So guys, you did a really great job. You had some really cool ideas for how we can help make more people less hungry. I think these kids got more done in the hour that we've been talking than the Congress has in the past six months. 